Okay, so this is Claire, who's um, just done the third day on the Permanent Makeup Startup course. And today we had, um, I think we had a technician in that trained with us a few years ago, didn't yes. we? And um, we worked on a, she was a little bit of a different client because she doesn't actually have any eyelashes. Yeah. So we did a, did some upper eyeliner uh, on her today and also we did her brows. So um, how, were you a little bit nervous working on the eye area for the first time? No, I really enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. Um, felt really comfortable with the stretch for the eyeliner that Katie showed me. Yeah, because a lot um, of people worry about the gripping technique and not getting it quite right. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, Katie just adjusted it where I needed it. But yeah, yeah it was really, really helpful, really clear. Yeah. Yeah, Fantastic. Really well, that's good. And then obviously we've got to work on the brows as well. And uh, the lady that was in has had a few treatments before because yeah. I think she had them done abroad many years ago and they, yeah. they used permanent ink and it was yeah. not the right colour. And we've been doing a bit of correction work over the last yes. couple of years. So how was it sort of working on someone that maybe wasn't quite as straightforward as maybe some other people? It was a good challenge. Yeah. Um, felt comfortable doing it, obviously because Katie's there to, <laughs> to guide you through it all, but um, yeah, it was really nice to have the opportunity to do someone slightly trickier while you've got the backup of Katie here, yeah. rather than getting back to the salon and yeah. being on your own, so yeah. yeah, it was good. Brilliant, actually on that note, it's quite interesting to see you back, because obviously you, you have your own salon, which yes. you've been running for quite some time now, and so what are your your plans, just because lots of salon owners watch these videos and go, oh, you know, I'd like to do that, but I'm more busy doing massages or hair extensions or whatever yeah. it is. So it, it, what is your exact plans in the, in the sort of next year or so? Is it to sort of work your way out of doing other treatments? Yeah, definitely. I've already um, slashed what I'm doing down to a third. In preparation for the training? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I've got new girls set on, so they're going to be picking up the bits that I'm not doing. Fantastic. So, yeah. Brilliant, excellent. So you're quite organised and yes. uh, and ready to get back. And uh, and you have, unlike a lot of salon owners that are here, it's a lesson for many of them. You, you've trained your staff so well, you, you literally barely get any calls yeah, or any no, calls. Nothing. Not even a single message apart from I hope it's going really well. Can't wait to see your pictures. Brilliant. I don't mind those sorts of messages. Because a lot of salon owners we train, they literally every every couple of hours or lunch break, yeah. they're on the phone to the receptionist and there's problems back at the salon. And no, I've not spoken to them all week. Wow, brilliant. Maybe you should yeah. do training courses and have a set up salons. Yes. <laughs> and run them efficiently. <laughs> brilliant. Well, great to see you, Claire. And great to see you with your good results today with the client. And um, we'll look forward to catching up tomorrow. Cause we're, and actually, you're really looking forward to doing lips, really aren't you? Really looking forward to doing lips. And yeah, is there any I'm particular really reason why you're sort of looking forward to lips? I just love lips. I love lip makeup myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, really excited to, to get going with those. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, have a good night tonight. Get some rest. Thank and you. we'll look forward to catching up with you when you finish. Okay, thanks. Take care.